you are watching Momo Beginner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hi guys, this is Momo and today we are back with easy sewing tutorial for you guys that is for winter and it is easy circle cap for winter days and it is a butter rick pattern 5753 but this is the twist in the tail that we are not using any pattern in it yes we are going to make a custom sewing project without any pattern so what we are going to do i'm going to introduce you two kind of cutting of this easy cap pattern this easy cap for winter okay so this is my first look and how i am going to work in it and how it is all going i'm going to explain you firstly i have taken my fabric and place it on the table and it is a square fabric basically and i have just made a four layer of it after folding it and now i'm making a a i'm making a again a layer of it so it is a eight layer and it is kind of triangle you can see i have placed my measurement tape on the top of the and take a 13 inch measurement and cut it away from the fabric in a circular manner you can say that i have the shape is kind of circle so it should be in a circular manner now you can see that I am taking measurement of 14 inch in dress so this dress is for 14 inch baby this is not any kind of surprise so this is for around 6 month to 1 year baby girl so what I am going what I am doing over here I am just placing my measurement tape around uh, along along with the so in a circle way by taking 14 inch 14 inch 14 inch in width and my my point is on the, the top of the dress or neck part you can see say that this is my the arc point this is kind of circular skirt dress pattern um, we are using same technique over here but this is the part that it is a butter rig pattern which is uh, we are not using it and we are making it on our own you can see that this is a pure circle skirt dress pattern kind of thing but we are making a cap of it so this is all about it um, let me explain that let me cut the uh, front part this is the front part and this is the basic thing so how it looked like <coughs> I'm just setting up the material over here okay this is the first cutting that I have showed you now I am moving towards my hoodie and then the surprise it is is in the end of this cutting part so stay tuned that uh, I'm going to show what what is in the end so please stay tuned with me in for the cutting part at least okay this is a pure hoodie 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 technique which I have used in the custom pattern making if you don't know then uh, go to my playlist and search for pattern making uh, this is a I have taught you uh, how to make a hoodie I'm taking a same measurement over here that 8 into 11 8 should be a width and 11 should be a height and uh, I'm just going to make <coughs> a small simple simple and a small small technique over here just uh, going to mark in a 45 angle from the right top of the hoodie and going to mark it and just going to place it from here to there as you can see that I'm just marking it's a 8 inch and just going to draw it I'm just doing it very roughly so you don't have to be this is about it I'm just marking the fabric 
and now I'm removing the excess part of the fabric here you go this is the hoodie and going to cut it <coughs> going to mark of sorry pardon uh, from back side from the half inch and uh, going to cut diagonally from it from the top from the bottom from from front bottom to the back bottom so it will be much clearer for this okay this is the first thing that uh, this is our full cutting of easy cap dress but this is the easy circle cap dress but this is a part that I am going to taught you this is the second sewing step that I am going to tell you the new version of that circle cap pat, uh, circle cap dress so I am telling you that how much I have taken a fabric so you can see that this fabric is a one yard in length and one yard in height so it is a square fabric and it is a fleece so you can take any fleece and any kind of pattern and you can <coughs> do it for, for your length as well I am making it for baby but you can do it for yourself as well okay what I have done I have uh, folded for uh, folded four time folded so right now I have four layers now I am using the same technique that I have used for the first version I am again folding it and making it a, it a triangle now I have eight layers okay what I need to do I need to cut the end basically I need to measure the 14 inch in length and then I start cutting and folding the fabric by cutting itself okay it makes the round round the round the round and you are making or uh, you are cutting at the edges this is a very easy step and you can do it for circle skirt dress as well <coughs> I'm just removing the upper two inch part I'm not removing the three inch you can see that this is the basic difference from the first version and the second version I'm just dividing the f one basically two layer from each other and now this has become the front part of us which have which is going to have a button holes and buttons off on it now what I'm going to do I'm just going uh, deeper just cut it the back end and now I'm just making the front end neck you can see that this is around 3 inch or 2.5 inch in depth and this is all on your girls you can use your baby shirt as well for that and uh, because you don't we are not using any custom pattern over here so we have to be uh, intermediate kind of level for this swing technique so I'm removing the excess part what I have uh, uh, seen it that it, it is um, coming out of place so this is my version which I am going to see you and this is the hoodie and let's start with the sewing and uh, <coughs> if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below so I can reply you um, let me go to the sewing table so I can start with the stuff so this is the fabric that I we have cut it already the circle cap dress and what I have done I have just do, did the overlock on the edges and did a book ramp placement on with the help of iron uh, or for the button hole so the button will be stuck and it will prominent on the front side uh, this is the done thing for the front uh, for the for our dress at least we need to start with our hoodie what I'm do I already done with the overlock of hoodie so I'm just doing a single seam along with the back side of the hoodie and uh, just folding the ends of the just folding the front part of it 
now I'm folding the front part of it I'm not explaining this as much because I have already explained it in the a line with hoodie uh, a line dress with hoodie and uh, we have also we also have done a pattern making of it so you have already learned that and if you don't then go to the momo beginner sewing so you can got a free stuff over there as well okay <coughs> i am done with my hoodie thing i'm just removing the extra stuff of it and then what i'm going to do i am going to stitch it around along with the our neck line of our circle cap dress so this is the main part that we need to understand so let deep into it let deep let deep into it or dive into it whatever you want to say this is my back side and uh, the front button holes are also you can see that i'm just placing my i'm placing my hoodie over here and explaining you that this is how it looks like so there is this should not be any confusion but if you freed feel that that it is any kind of confusion then don't worry i am placing the hoodie back our lock area on the notch you can see that and just <coughs> going to my boot and going to see it towards the right along with the neckline by taking hoodie end I'm just folding it over here this step is need to be very much clear for you guys so stay focused on it you can see that the first layer dress then hoodie and my then my uh, fabric and bookram on it I'm just doing a double seam you can see that and removing the excess bookram and uh, reverting the as you can see that how it cool it looking like then the end the edge <coughs> the corner this very nice and now we need to do a similar thing for the back side for the other part the left side i am measuring the bookram part you can see that now I'm marking this is of uh, one inch in in total and I need to mark with the chalk fabric that uh, what we need to do I'm just <coughs> I have very bad thoughts so please avoid this okay we are taking the the measurement of other side that we already done it is 0 0.5 an inch in width so we are placing our hoodie after making a sew of 0 0.5 inch and then making a taking uh, placing it in between the bookram and the fabric you can see that i'm just repeating it again uh, one inch 0 0.5 inch the mark I just marked the 0.5 inch from where our hoodie cap will be started or inserted in it. This is done. This is the main part, and we are over it. So we are. I'm just uh, doing a single seam over here till the notch appear and the middle part of the cap up here because we are already done with the left side of it <coughs> removing the excess part of it so we have done with the we are done with our basic circle cap dress 
and you can see that you just need to put a hole button holes and buttons in it and we are done with it but this is the first version of it yeah it also has a two versions this is the first version which which has only hoodie and the cap circle just that's it and uh, of course i have just to forget to do a finish seam over here i'm <coughs> just doing a finish seam try to place your boot 0.5 inch away where you have put your hoodie from where you have just started your hoodie so it will be it will not going to ruin your finished seams or at the buttonhole uh, line at the buttonhole where you plug the buttonhole i think it is called buttonhole plugged yeah button plugged we have done with our dress as well i am not going to sew it over here otherwise it ruin the front part of us front part of the fabric okay or i can sew it okay let me see i am just placing my boot on the bottom because we need to sew the bottom if you want our lock to be like it is it would it is, our love would be a light width so it it is great if you just go go with our love but i am folding the bottom so i am just do it in a super quick way So this is our uh, bottom seam. Uh, we are done with it. Now this is the first version that uh, we are ready with it. That is pure circle cap dr uh, dress with hoodie. Uh, now what I am going to do, I am making a version two of it. What I am going to do, we are having a sleeve in it. <coughs> so what I am imagining over here, I am trying to describe you that we are taking two inch from the above. We are just marking it. I try to mark the lesser because we are working on the front now the second point after taking four inch <coughs> after taking four inch from the front side from the above part we have marked four inch and from the bottom i have marked 7.5 inch and now we need to yeah this is a and b point we need to draw a line on it so what is the technique we have measure 2 inch centimeter on the hooded and the dress border part then we have taken a place on the 2 inch edge point and place a 4 inch below of it and then the 4 inch point is our A point and we have marked the bottom point that is 7.5 inch we need to place our A and B. I am explaining it again you can see that I am just making a 2 inch point okay after that from the above we need to measure 4 inch and then mark 4 inch from the right or left edge from it and then we need to mark 7.5 inch from the of, of the at the bottom and now we need to point we need to join A and B. I'm wondering that that whether you guys can see my points clearly or not 
or getting my point or not but a butteric pattern in a free version without any <coughs> without any pattern and you can make uh, as many as you want and even gift it this is a great version according to me so hope you guys like it and uh, love it our circle cap dress just give a thumb up, thumbs up and uh, just avoid my fumbles and just subscribe to us like share and love us thank you so much <laughs>